My name is Chris Maurer and I'm the architect of the Biohab project. Today we're going to take a tour of the facility and see the process. Join me. It all starts with the acacia mellifera bush, which you can see here is a very thick bush that's actually choking wildlife refuge and natural aquifers throughout the country. By thinning that bush and chipping it up into small bits, we can use this wood as a substrate for growing mushrooms and then use the waste from that for building materials. We set it out in the sun here, <clears throat> as you can see, to get to the right moisture content. And then after it reaches the right moisture content, it's put into these mushroom cultivation bags. These bags are slightly closed up and then we take them to the pasteurization center. So we take these bags and then we load them into these chambers that specially have elements to steam the material. That'll kill off any of the organisms that are in here. So we can introduce mycelium and it'll have free reign of the substrate. They'll take the bags off the shelves that are cooled overnight. They'll open them up in front of the flow hood and then they'll introduce a little bit of this mycelium spawn, which is basically just grain. And that's where the, how the mushrooms will grow. They'll grow directly inside this bag. From the lab, we take the material into the fruiting room, which is where we have the right conditions for growing mushrooms. These bags are put on the shelves here, where they're fully colonized with mycelium. And then once they're fully colonized, we'll open up a little opening, which mushrooms can grow out of. You can see Hilma is about to harvest some more mushrooms in here. So the mushrooms that are harvested are taken to market and they're sold at, at the supermarket here. The profits from that are going to Standard Bank Namibia's Buy a Brick Foundation, which provides shack dwellers with healthy, safe homes. It takes a fraction of the water to, to grow mushrooms than it does to grow crops. So after the mushrooms are harvested, we're still left with this mycelium composite. This is the acacia mellifera bush chipped up with mycelium that's fully colonated through there. This would be a waste material from the mushroom farm normally. Sometimes it can be used for compost, but we found that the better use for this is to actually turn this into building materials where the carbon can be locked away for decades. And we put it into a new container that's specially suited for making bricks. And then that is what's suited for going into our brick making press. This is the Biohab brick making press. The mycelium is loaded into here, which is pushed back into a metal form. The metal form is then taken to a brick making oven. And then the material that comes out of that is similar to this here, a very dense composite. It has the density of about wood, but it has the strength of concrete, making it a very good multifunctional material that is structural, insulative, fire resistant, sound attenuating, and can be used for all kinds of applications within the biohab. So Aviator and Saki are now taking the, the brick mold into the oven. The end result of the process is our micro blocks. So this is made from the waste of mushroom farming, and not only does it preserve wildlife and habitat here in Namibia, but it stores carbon for a brighter future and sustainability. So now you've seen the process from bush to brick and mushrooms in between. Biohab aims to create jobs, food, and shelter all in the same process, while inspiring the construction industry to use more sustainable materials, effectively to go from a carbon emitter to a carbon store. Biohab is not just a building, it is an ecosystem. So from all of us here in Biohab, thanks for watching. 